What do you get when you cross a going out of business sale and you boy a Black Ranger? A bag of big deals. Let's get it. What's up? What's up? What's the word blurred? It's your boy, Black Ranger. And welcome back for another week of Black Rangers Blurred Life, where we explore all things legendary and nostalgic in the world of Blurred and Nerds. And yes, you guys, took a trip to the great store Pandora's Cube. I've mentioned it a few times, been there a time or two, but they are actually going out of business. And they're actually out of business right now as I'm recording this. But I went actually a week before they closed. And they said they were doing some great deals. And like I said, you guys, I got a bag of games, which means the N64 collection is about to blossom fruitfully. So before we hop into that live footage, just want to say thank you for stopping by this week. If it's your first time, you've made the right decision to enjoy the blurred life with your boy and everybody else. Again, we just have, like to have fun here. And right now we're on the road to a complete set of the N64 journey. And this trip is going to help out a lot. Got up there with my boy, video game votary, and we did some hunting, so let's check it out. Yeah. All right, y'all. We have Pandora's Cube. It is, they're going out of business, y'all. As you can see by some of the shelves being empty. And then the the Nintendo champion himself going for the complete Wii set, VGV. Y'all see the fit? You know what I'm saying? The fours, you know what I'm saying? UMD, that's what we do out here. Sad to see him go, but y'all know what I'm here for. The N64. We're gonna come out of here with some some nice stuff, y'all. Let's see what we can do. Let's check back in the blur cave. All right, all right, so. That was just a quick little snippet of us roaming around the store and checking some things out. But as you see, I got a stack here full of games. So let's jump into what we got. First, we're going to jump into something non-N64. We got a GameCube memory card. Third party, of course. But as I've said, whenever I'm testing out the video games, monthly boxes, and I get GameCube games that have save points, can't do anything because I don't have a memory card. But I do now. So this gonna be great glad to finally add this so let's get into these games again i got a stack right here some some pretty good ones and then some common of course because we're going for a full thing so first let's hop into this first one right here this is mace the dark age uh, i got this pretty much because i wanted the nintendo case um, but it does have the manual and the game is inside, so I was glad to add this. And again, you guys, the prices you see on these is not what I paid for any of them. I got super deal uh, at this going out of business. So next we have Elmo's Number Journey. Of course, you got to have those Sesame Street titles. And, you know, Elmo was very big for a long time. All right. Then next up, we have Roadsters. It's like a racing title, obviously. Uh, so we add that, and then we got a beat up, but still working copy of Blues Brothers 2000. Next up, we have Load Runner 3D. Add that in. All right. So making some pretty nice headway in the N64 journey right now. You got. Then we have Xena Warrior Prince Princess, the Talisman of Fate. All right. Add that in. Then we have Iggy's Rock and Balls. What? Pause number one. Number two is Iggy's Wrecking Balls. Still pause, but uh, cool to add this in. Now these next couple of ones are pretty like pretty good titles that I'm very glad I was. Uh, able to add this one's called flying dragon uh, it reminds me of flying dragon on the nes which i do have pretty much the same cover art almost but um definitely really want to check this out and speaking of checking it out you guys we will be soon starting to upload and go live with gameplay i do plan on playing 
playing every N64 game on the channel. So be on the lookout for that. We're going to go through one life, one death, one race, whatever it is we're going to go through. And we're going to do it that way. So look out for those coming soon. But back to the games. Then we have Killer Instinct Gold. I know you can't tell because the label is trash, but it says it right there. They did have a box copy of this, but it was like 160. That's a lot, That's a lot of money. And even after the deals, I still didn't want to have to pay uh, anywhere near that for that. All right. Then next up we have Vigilante Eight Second Offense. What what can you not say about Vigilante Eight game? These were fun. You know, between Twisted Metal and Vigilante Eight. I had a bunch of fun wrecking cars through video games, not in real life, all right? Be safe out on the road, you guys. Then we have Bomberman Hero. We all love the Bomberman series here, so Bomberman Hero. And then for the last two, which we're, uh, we'll go with this one first, we have Gex 64, Enter the Gecko. Of course, looking just like a James Bond cover. I wonder if Gex quick as quit his job and just started working at Geico. Who knows? All right, and then last but not least, we have Mario Golf. Now, a little while ago, I got Mario Tennis, so now I've got Mario Golf, so we're making great headway with all the Mario games. And not a really big hitter, but Mario game nonetheless. All right, you guys? So that's 13 games, 13 more games to check off the list, which leaves us at... 115 titles for the N64 right now. Which is great. But you want to know what's even better than that? I got even more the day the store was closing. But we're going to have to wait till the next video for that. So be on the lookout because I got some. Uh, yeah. Definitely racked up there too. But right here, got the receipt. Um, yeah. The, ooh. Spend a little bit of spend a little bit of change, but nowhere near what I was actually supposed to spend for most of this stuff. Everything was between five, ten, fifteen dollars off of what it's marked at. So that was great. Glad to add thirteen more titles to the N64 collection, which means we are growing, you guys. I mean, huh? It, it's still far away. But it's a lot closer than it was, aren't you guys? So, some great titles again. Be on the lookout for the N64 test series that'll be coming soon. Haven't thought of what I want to name it yet, but I will be going live and uploading those as well. I don't know if I'll be live on YouTube or Twitch. Be on the lookout. I'm gonna upload all the information so you can come and enjoy the blurred life live and we can have a conversation, you guys. All right, so thanks again for stopping by. YouTuber of the month for September 2023 is over, but it's all good. Great contestant one. <laughs> one of my boys, we actually went against each other in the Girth Tuber of the Year competition last year. So glad that it went to a great deserving person again. You can go check out October's nominees for YouTuber of the month and just give those pages a look. There's some great people out there. Love spreading the view for smaller channels like myself and all the rest of them. Aren't you guys up? Again, thanks for stopping by. I hope you're looking forward to what else I got for the N64 coming up soon. And I hope you're just having a great day and a great week. Special shout out right now to Drinking Games with Josh nominating me for YouTube over the month. He had some health issues going on, but he's doing great. Glad to see him back making videos and just back in good spirits all love for you here bro and all love for all of you out there thanks for watching as i always say love up on your family and friends because you never know what could be the last time we're just gonna keep and going this bird life together baby all right black ranger out peace